Lima. Come, shalom, shalom. It's another set of day coming out, prophesying the downfall of this wicked empire called Babylon. But the first thing that we're going to do, we're going to give all praises to the Most High. Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahushai, Wahara, Wafudash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And salutations to the whole for the next pushing his truth as it So it's another Saturday coming to prophesy the downfall of mystery Babylon. We're here to tell you what will take place according to the Bible, the destruction, the great tribulation that is around the corner. And for the so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Indians that they need to repent. Because the Redeemer is coming back. You know, and the Redeemer is the beloved son of the Most High. He is not a Caucasian, he is a dark-skinned man according to the Bible and he's coming to judge this wicked place. You knew that, sister? You knew that? Did you know that the, Redeem that the Redeemer was a dark-skinned man? You? You didn't know? Let's go on, man. We're going to jump into the way how the Lord came back, how he's going to come back. He, the same way like how the Lord left this place is the same way like how the Lord is coming back. Exactly, exactly. And I'm going to start, uh, you know, the book of Acts chapter 1 and I'm starting 6 first so you might get it clearer. Mm -hmm. Verse 6, when they therefore were come together, they asked of him, saying, Lord, wilt thou at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel? Yeah, because the kingdom needs to be restored unto us. Esau is ruling in this empire. In the Greek empire, Esau is ruling. The Roman empire, Esau is ruling. This empire is a continuation of the Roman empire. Esau, Edom is ruling. And we want our kingdom. We are the descendants of Jacob. We are striving for the establishment of the Davidic Empire, man. The kingdom that pertains unto the children of Israel. That's what we want. Go on. And he said unto them, It is not for you to know the times or the seasons which the Father had put in his own power. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because only the Lord knows the time. Not even the Redeemer knows the time when he's going to be sent on this earth to judge this whole wicked planet and all the people that are up on it, man. Exactly, man. So the only one who knows it is the Lord God, Yahweh, the Lord of hosts. Mm -hmm. Verse 8. But ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth. Yep, and jump to uh, the book of Matthew 24, verse 14. Yeah, because... You got prophets and you got the Israelites scattered all over the globe. And that's why we gotta we gotta proclaim, we gotta declare the word of the most high in all type of languages, man. And also all type of places. You know, we gotta tell our people that they need to repent. The Lord is coming back. You gotta get right with the most high. And if you're not right with the Lord, you will be cut down, you will be destroyed. You know, go on. The book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 14. Mm -hmm. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world. For witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. Yeah, my bro, can I go to Africa, Thomas? And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for yeah. witness unto all nations. Yeah, because we are scattered amongst all these nations, man. That's why we teach in the Netherlands in Dutch. They got brothers teaching in French, Spanish, Italian, you know, Portuguese, Papiamento. We speak Surinamese. Italian, all those languages we teach him, man. You know? Go on. And then shall the end come. And then shall the end come. Then the Lord can come back. Yeah, man, just a while ago, before we started with the video, we had a buffoon from Gambia. A Gambian monkey, a Gambian buffoon. A Muslim, even. And he was he was claiming that the Son of Man, aka Yahawashai, Died for everybody. Yep. But this is a guy, it's a Muslim dude. I'm sure he doesn't know the Quran. But he's gonna brag that he knows about Yahawashai. Yeah. Well I told him that Yahushai did the matter of fact my brother told him that Yahushai didn't die for everybody, still he was claiming he said, Why does everybody need to know the gospel then? That's because of this, what the brother just explained, everybody needs to know. Yep. Because we are scattered among the heathen men. Yep, yep. And that's across this planet. So yep. that's why. Yep, and let's uh, get that in Tobit, Tobit 13 for three. Hey brother, can I ask you something where you from? You only look at this. This is ain't it something, man. You got people looking like, oh, I'm totally like, huh? Yeah, but they're gonna regret it, man. They're gonna regret it because when famine is gonna kick off, we're going to eat and drink and they will starve. Yep, yep. I love God. God will trust. You yeah, God? Do, do you know how how does God look like? How does God look like? What does he look like? Like me. No, that's bullshit, man. Oh, yeah, like he you. looks we look Watch like him. Standing in front of the camera. Standing in front of the camera. Standing in front of the camera. Let's 
Three verse, uh, three verse three. The book of Tobit, chapter 30, verse 3. He is so creeping up saying that the most high looks like him. Yeah, man. <laughs> you know? The most high doesn't get sunburns, man. That's crazy, man. <laughs> the Lord, the Lord, the most high having no pigment. These, yeah, these man. Oh, no, so that's right. The most high steals your pigment because it's white, right? <laughs> Pick it up. Yeah, man, the book of Tobit, chapter 30, verse 3. Confess him before the Gentiles, ye children of Israel, mm -hmm. for he had scattered us among them. You see, so we are we are amongst all these heathens, man. That's why you got our people in places like also here, you know, Belgium, the Netherlands, uh, the Netherlands, Germany, you know. These these are places normally you had Japheth actually over here. We know how the spirit of Esau is, man, going to conquer, to steal, to murder, to enslave running around like a fugitive. They have not been judged for the crimes that they have committed. But yet our people are in a destroyed state. And nobody bemoans you, nobody cares. You see, so, but the most of the people don't care. We had the California, this California, I believe, was it? Some, some high official talking about how they want to work and trying to give us reparations every person yeah, joke. every person which should be receiving i believe 1.2 million it ain't it's gonna not happen enough, man yeah. yeah it ain't gonna happen it's not far not enough exactly but what's the, what what was the outcome it was declined as expected you know as expected yeah come 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 all about come come come, come. The woman, the sister wanted to go back, but the man was like, he wanted to walk on, man. That's, a, that's the mind of these people, man. Hey, but the Bible says, cast not thy pearls before the swine. So if they don't want this, this is not for them. This is only for the ones that truly take heat onto it, man. Hey, bro, you, know? hey, bro, yo, you, got, yo. a, you got a question? And he saw the camera, he was like, mm, no, I'm not going <laughs> to... He's camera shy. Yeah, he got that as well. People that are camera shy, they be like, nah, don't. Man. But you don't have to be in the camera, you can be over there. You can just talk, break bread with you. There's no, there's no problem. You know, let's go on in Tobit. Yeah, man. Verse 4. There declares greatness and extol him before all the living. Mm -hmm. For he is our Lord and he is the God of our Father forever. Yeah, because every time when we teach, we are extolling the most high in the sky, man. Every time when you walk, you declare. You walk in his race. You pray to the Heavenly Father. You, you prophesy. You rebuke, even when you instruct, when you edify, you actually extol in the most high. Because we're doing this all by his doctrine. Exactly. Okay. And, you know, uh, if, if we were a bone, this, this, this bone, you know, then the sea or the rivers, the water, that's the wisdom, not your understanding of the most high. Man. Yep. That's, yep. What, that's what we're sailing on. Yep, yep, yep. We're sailing on the winds of the most high and on the waters of the most high. That's beautiful, man. It's to the spirit. I made a video about the strong river stream, man, which actually goes in also on the sound doctrine, but exactly how you say, because the Lord is guiding. He steers you. If he doesn't steer you toward the right doctrine, he steers you toward some mixed, bugged out doctrine, it simply means that he wants to destroy you, man. Exactly, man. Exactly, because we got, you know, these, these, we got some Israelites that are woke, you know, they, they're woken up to the truth. But they're still in Christianity. These are Israelite Christians. Yep, yep. You want to be united. No matter no matter what type of doctrine you, you teach, you be like, no, we got to unite. We got to come together. All the heads, was it Wi-Fi? All the heads of, of, of Israel need to get together and we need to unite. That ain't going to happen. The Lord, the Lord didn't establish it for us all to unite, no matter if the, diff in the difference of doctrine, man. Bro, bro. People are in a hurry, man. But the Lord's gonna be like the, the best. Lord's gonna come in the same way. Come up, doctor, just come up. The Lord, the Lord's gonna be in the same way, and we gonna get these things, man, because judgment is around the corner, man. Yeah, man. Hey, uh, just before came no. here, uh, me and the brother we talked about being happy for being in the school and in the sound doctrine, because you can be in the two, but if you're not in the sound doctrine, you're, you're like an how can I call it? Maybe an elite tutor or something? Or a glorified tutor? I don't know. Yeah. 
is, is, is deceived. The Lord said the deceiver and the deceived are his. So it is key for us, for all. Especially those that are doing something, teaching something that goes against the doctrine. Media market of the church of Paris. At all times, search the scriptures. When you get explanations, look it up. That should be the mind. And not dismissing and not being not being careless concerning correction and instructions, man. Yeah, same thing, like Hey, <laughs> I, don't feel, I don't feel bad. Exactly, man. Hey, at least we call them, and by calling them and they not reply and not answering, uh, we also wash the, wash their blood of our hands. That's it. That's it. You know, the most I said, whether they hear or whether they forbear, man. The elect will listen and take heed and, and, and get edified, man. If somebody is like, nah, man, I ain't got no time. I got to do something. I looked at the helmet, I think, I, it made me think about the red devil, the color of red. I almost thought that the only thing that was missing was the, the spiky horns. Yeah, man, so go on. First five, and it was oh, yeah. just for our iniquities. Which, which he did, because we sinned. The reason why we ended up in captivity was because of our sin. We went off, we bowed down onto idols, even onto this very same day, our people doing the same thing. Bowing down onto idols, celebrating Christmas, their birthday. What is it that they more do? Eating swine's flesh, shaving their beard, looking like a boy, looking like a female. You know? Being faggots. The Lord, the Lord despises all those things, man. And when you speak the words out of the script, they say, oh, that's a toxic masculinity. They're too manly. Yeah, man, but, exactly, but the man with you, the man that you're with, he's too weak, he's too feminine. And the Lord said it, man. If feminine shall not enter into the kingdom, brother, can I ask you something? You don't want to talk about the Bible? Are you ashamed of God? Well, guess what? God's ashamed of you and your family, man. Hey, that's it, man. Let's get, let's get that. Let's finish it first, and then we go and get that first. You know, because a lot of people walk around, and he, re he really turned like, Zechariah comes into my mind, like, they pulled the shoulder. This man, hey, he turned away like, man, I want nothing to do with the Bible. Like, as if he was disgusted by the Bible, man. The Lord, man, <coughs> let's finish that and we won't get those scriptures, man. Uh, and we'll have mercy again. Yep. And will gather us out of all nations among whom he had scattered us. Which is taking place right now. That's the mercy of the Most High. The Lord, the Lord gave his beloved son, the Redeemer, who is a dark command to die for his people, man. And you got to repent from your sins. That's the only way how you can be saved. If you don't want to repent, you're going to die by the judgment of the Most High. That's how it's going to work. There's no such thing like, man, I'm a good person. I love, I help the old lady cross the street. The Lord doesn't care about that, man. As long as you don't get right, as long as you don't submit onto the program, he will put you to death, man. And that's the God, that's the that's the message of the most high. You don't want to hear it. You don't you want to hear like everything is going to be all right. God loves you no matter what. Come as how you are. Can I ask you something? Where are you from? Where are you from? Got it? Yeah, man. Bring it out. The book of Luke, chapter 9, verse 26. For whosoever shall be ashamed of me and of my words, of him shall the Son of Man be ashamed, yep. when he shall come in his own glory and in his Father's and of the holy angels. Yeah, man, but the Lord will be ashamed of you, man. And you got to understand that the Lord is the mediator between us on this earth and the Most High. So if you are ashamed of the gospel, then he will not do a good word for you unto the Most High. He will, he, will, he, will, he will look at you like, oh, so you're ashamed of me? I don't want to deal with you. Exactly, man, because this is like a, this is, this is an exclusive club, man. Yep. And the only way to get it is to know who the doorman. Hey, the doorman can get you in, you know? Because the doorman has connections with the chief, with, yep. the, with, with, the, man, with the man in charge. Yep. Yep. So if you don't know the doorman, and if you mock the doorman, you didn't give the, the doorman uh, a tip, you won't get in, man. He, yep. won't, he won't remember you. Hey, hey, that's uh, Psalms 2 and 12. Guess the sun, you know? Because if you don't get down with the program, you, you're you not going to enter in. You, you're not going to enter in some other way. That scripture says that they climb it up the other way, which makes you a robber and a thief. You will be searched out, man. How did this fella came over here? He will be kicked out, man. Bring it out. Yeah, I'm in the book of Psalms, chapter 2, verse 12. Oh, you know about the 12 tribes of Israel? 
that much, but I know that. You know, where are you from? Uh, I'm from Northern Africa. Northern Africa. Northern Africa. Okay. You believe in God? Religious, From Christian? From time to time. It depends time on the time. day. Yeah, okay. your, your face explains a lot. You got a lot of things here. Yeah, man. The shoe is in your countenance, eh? Uh, <laughs> hey, brother, can I ask you something? Ali, guys. Yeah, man. Like cool, can I ask you a couple of minutes, man? Where are you from, bro? Congo. Congo? Yes. Okay. So you, you believe in God? I believe in God, yes. So you're, you're Christian? No. Muslim? I'm Christian. You're not Muslim, I'm Muslim, right? no. Okay, okay. Uh, because God have no religion. That's the people that the people that make that. God has no okay, religion. I hear you. But okay. God has, has the most high laws and orders and instructions for you. Okay. That's right, right? Mm -hmm. When God God created everything, there's yeah. there's law and orders everywhere. Okay. Even in this wicked empire. Mm -hmm. You got the police, you got the law. If you break if I steal something, the police comes and say, You stole. I will thrown in front of a judge. The same thing with the Most High. There's law and order. The righteous law are written in the Bible for us. And we gotta keep those laws. You may know some of them. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not commit murder. You shall not bow down unto idols. Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. Yep, but there are more laws. The most basic laws are the 10 laws, globally to establish for us. But in the Bible are 613 laws. We cannot keep them all perfectly. But what the Most High requires from us, get it in the book of Judges 5 and 11. The Most High wants a certain thing from us. He wants you to do your best in walking in what He wants of you. And then when you look around on this earth, do you think and do you feel that people are doing that? No. People are, people are the system. The system is programming them like, don't worry about that. You can just live. They say God is love, right? Many times, most likely you hear that God is love. If God is love, then He loves everything you do. So then you can be also wicked and He says God is love. Then love, God loves wickedness? That's not right, right? So I'm going to read the first for you. Read it. The book of Judges chapter 5 verse 11. Read it closely. They that are delivered from the noise of archers in the places of drawing water. And the place of drawing water is actually the place of slavery which in this present time is a modern form of slave. We are not free. Every day you wake up, most likely nine to five, you gotta work, you gotta pay rent, you gotta pay electricity, you gotta pay for water, you gotta pay for food, you gotta pay for clothing. They texting us. Everything. Every day, constantly. Go on. There shall they rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord. In this place, we are rehearsing the righteous acts of the Lord. We are practicing. We're learning. We're finding out things. Christmas is not in the Bible. What is taking place all over the globe? People are celebrating Christmas. You ask a Christian, are you supposed to celebrate Christmas? What is it that they say? It has to do with Jesus Christ, right? It has nothing to do with Jesus Christ. But yet they're celebrating it because the system is teaching them to do it. So the system is teaching them to do the wrong, while God instructs us by the Bible, listen closely, look out for these things, and walk in my instructions, walk according to the right ways. Follow my laws. Don't listen to the devil. I know, I know that. Yeah? Uh -huh. So go. Mm -hmm. It's done? Yeah. Yeah. Not, 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 yeah. Even the righteous acts toward the inhabitants of his villages in Israel, yep. then shall the people of the Lord go down to the gates. Yeah, so we have to practice the law right now. And seeing, seeing that we have made so many mistakes, mm -hmm. I made mistakes, I did things, I ate swine's flesh, I stole. Nobody's perfect. Nobody's perfect. Yeah. That's why the Heavenly Father said, before I'm, before I'm going to judge, because everything in the book of, in the book of uh, uh, Psalms 130, verse 3, according to everything that we did right now, mm -hmm. all the sins that we have committed, the most I would actually uh, actually had to destroy everybody. But we all, we all bent off, we all did so much wrong, that the most if he would judge us today, without the Redeemer, he would all, he would kill everybody. But the Most High, the Most High established the Redeemer, who the people call Jesus Christ, okay. as the ultimate sacrifice to cleanse you from your sins. Yeah? So when you cleanse from your sins, now you're acceptable unto the Most High. Read it. The book of Psalms, chapter 130, verse 3. Yep. If thou, Lord, shouldest mark iniquity. If the Most High would mark iniquity, sin upon sin, if the Lord would look upon all sin upon sin of everybody, Oh Lord, who shall stand? Who would be able to stand? Nobody. Nobody. Because we all, we all sin, we all have made mistakes. We all filthy. 
but only only by the way of the Redeemer, only by the way of the one they call Jesus Christ, you can be cleansed from your sins. What do you got the scripture about that? In uh, the book of, uh, what is it, Acts? Was it uh, 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 5, uh, 5 and 30? Yeah. This verse is going to explain who the Redeemer died for. Because he died for our people. They, these people, they portray him like this, and then they say he died for everybody. But that's no, not no, true. No. That's God not true. Is not what? Exactly. God is not what? Exactly, brother. That's why they tell us every day, you know, that God is right. That's all, all of more than 400 years that God is right. God is not right. Exactly. Yeah, man. But yet they're teaching the and people. Lots of people there, you know. Before that, the white man came to Africa, mm -hmm. the African, did they know God? Yeah. yeah. They have all God, right? The yeah. white man said, no, your God is a bad guy. We have all real God. The yeah. God is yeah. right. Yeah. That's why now we have, you know, the tribe you know, in Africa, at the war in Africa. You know, yeah came from these people. Yeah, yes. man, you know, oh. can, you know what King Leo did, right? I know, right? I know. King Leopold. I know, I know that. Yeah, and, but they will pay, but, but, but they will pay. But Jesus died for him, right? Yeah, that's He'll what be they safe, say. right? They say Je Jesus died for him. He'll yeah. be safe, right? <laughs> hey, bring it up. Here. Yeah, man, yeah. the book of Acts, chapter five. Yeah, have you got something also? Yeah, and I have something here. Okay. I'm going to show you. Yeah, of course. Real, uh, I think I have that here. Uh, yeah, yeah, man. Let me check it, man. Okay. Yeah, you bent Jij bent een van de kinderen van Israël. Je kent, je kent het verhaal van Mozes, hoe die uh, Israël heeft gered. Jij bent een van die kinderen. Jij bent een van die mensen, een van die uitverkoren mensen, man. Ik weet het. Jij bent hier gekomen. De Spirit heeft jou gebracht. Dat betekent van God. God. God heeft een boodschap voor jou. En de boodschap is, jij moet volgens mij met de leven. Andere keer, Suriname. Andere keer. zeggen jullie altijd, man. Maar die andere keer zijn we misschien niet meer hier, hè? Misschien zijn we daar niet meer, hè? Moet je echt wat zeggen? Karte Afrika, Antiek. Kom even, man. Check gewoon naar die naam hier. Ja, ik ben alles goed. Ja, ja. Wacht even, wacht even. Ik ben echt niet meer bij je staan. Ik kan ook zo'n show on the camera voor je. Ja, precies. Dat is de echte. Hij laat die vlek in die zin. Ja, precies. Ja, maar. Ja, precies. Ja, maar. Ja, precies. Ja, maar. Ja, precies. Ja, precies. Ja, maar ja, dat is een vos. Ja, maar 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 Goed zo, of? Uh... Wacht even. Ja, ik heb het okay. voor jou, ja, Om te kijken oh, of Iets dichterbij. Iets dichterbij? Ja. Ja. Kun je ons eventjes uitleggen wat jullie bezig zijn? Sorry? Kun je ja. ons eventjes uitleggen wat ja. jullie bezig zijn? We staan hier voor onze mensen om onze mensen te vertellen. Zou de naam zijn. Dat uh, de zoon van deze man is. En misschien ook de zoon van deze man is. Ja, maar dat ziet hij er zo uit. Ja, ja dames en heren. Ja, maar staat hij er vast? Snap je dus? Ik geef je ook de naam. Ik geef je 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 de naam. Ze noemen het de renaissance toch in Europa. Ik geef je de vraag. Ja, dat is goed. Juist, ja. Dus als je hierin gelooft, dan ga je ook naar de duiken. Ja, is zo, en, en, oh, dat is goed. Kijk, weet je wat het is? Wij zijn bij komen naar dingen. Wij komen naar dingen. Wij zijn nu bezig ook hier in België. Deze man gaat terugkomen. Ja, deze man gaat terugkomen. Om iedereen te straffen. Heel veel mensen gaan dood. Maar als je niet wil sterven, moet je de bevelen om te leven zoals de Bijbel ons wil. En dat is wel mooi. Welke geloof hebben jullie? Een christelijk. Ja, het is niet christelijk, weet je, want christelijk dat is een term dat is later bedacht, maar daarvoor bestonden wij al, want wij zijn de werkelijke ja, christelijk. Okay, wat er in de Bijbel staat, en dat is in principe, kijk, we geloven in God natuurlijk, op, op, op. maar het is, het is meer een cultuur. Het is meer een cultuur, wij volgen de Bijbel, dat is wat wij doen. Nee, nee, dat is geen christelijk. Nee, dat is niet waar, dat zeg jij, maar zo noemen wij onszelf. Wij zijn de werkelijke Israëlieten. Begrijp je dat of niet? Dan zit je van Joden. Oké, 
Zo kan je het noemen, maar kijk, een jood, wat is een jood? Een jood is een persoon uit de stam van jullie. Ik ben een jood. Jawel, dat is niet waar wat jij zegt. Nee, dat is niet waar wat er staat. In, luister, in de Bijbel staat een persoon. Kijk, er staat hier. Judah, kijk, Judah. Een persoon die uit de stam komt van Judah is een jood. Dat ben ik. Hij is een... Luister, nee, dat is geen geloof. Luister, luister nou, wil je wat leren of niet? Als je wat wil leren, dan luister je... Dan wat ik je te zeggen. Die mensen in Israël, wat zij hebben gedaan, zij hebben iets gepakt. Waarom, waarom ze zichzelf de Joden noemen, is omdat Juda is de hoofdstam van Israël. Er zijn twaalf stammen, de hoofdstam van Israël is Juda. Toen hebben zij dat gepakt, weet je wat, noemen zichzelf de Joden. En toen hebben zij het Judaïsme hebben ze gecreëerd. Maar dat komt dus niet overeen met de Bijbel. Wat zij doen en zeggen, komt niet overeen met wat er in de Bijbel staat. En dat laat wij dus aan onze mensen weten dat wij de kinderen van Israël zijn. Wij zijn de kinderen van God en niet die neppers daar in Israël. Snap je dus dat het verschil? Wij zijn geen Joden, dat ben ik. Ik ben een Jood, maar hij is een Benjamin, omdat hij aan de stam van Benjamin is. We hebben meerdere broeders, we hebben ook broeders die ik dan persoonlijk ken, uit Levi komen en uit Naftali en, en, en andere stammen. Snap je? Dus dat. Dus wij zijn geen christenen, we volgen wel Christus, maar zijn, die naam gebruiken wij niet. Dat is wat witte mensen, dat, dat is hun ding. Wij zijn de werkelijke de Israëlieten, de kinderen van God. Nou, wij weten het zeker dat wij dat zijn. Nou, omdat er een, wij weten het niet, nee, maar dat is bewijs. Je moet het kunnen bewijzen. Wat jij zegt, wat je claimt, moet je kunnen bewijzen. En aan de hand van, van de scriptures uit de Bijbel weten wij dat die mensen in Israël niet de werkelijke Israëlieten zijn. Want er staat in de Bijbel geschreven dat de Israëlieten door God en zijn zoon naar Israël zou, gebracht zouden worden. Zij zijn er zelf heen gegaan met de, onder, door, uh, onder, onder, door middel van de Balvoer declaratie zijn ze daarheen gegaan. Dus dat is al één. We zijn niet de werkelijke joden. Ken je, ken je uh, Nadir Nasir Abdel Nasser? Uh, wat is het? Abdel, 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 Gamal Nasser. Abdel Gamal Nasser. Hij is een Egyptische president. Hij zei, de mensen die nu in Israël zijn, zullen wij nooit respecteren. Want ze, de, de werkelijke joden zijn vertrokken als zwarte. Ze zijn, ja, ze zijn als zwart vertrokken en ze zijn wit teruggekomen. Wij zullen ze nooit respecteren. De mensen die nu in ons heilige land zijn, zijn Amalek, Amalekieten, zijn nepjoden. Hun hebben gewoon een religie, een religie, een religie gecreëerd op een bloedlijn. Nee, het gaat niet om het Nee, het gaat niet om de huidskleur, het gaat om de bloedlijn. Als jij een nazaat van Jacob, Jacob bent, dan, dan, dan ben jij een kind van Israël. Dus het gaat niet om de huidskleur. Je hebt nazaat van Jacob die donker is als ons. Die een lichtkleur, lichte huidskleur als deze broeder hebben. Maar je hebt zelfs nazaat van Jacob die eruit ziet als een blank. Begrijp je? Dus het gaat om bloedlijn. Zolang jouw bloedlijn niet terug gaat naar Jacob, kun jij niet gered worden. Dat is wat er in de Bijbel staat. En dat is wat wij vertellen. Alles, en alles wat iedereen daarbuiten zegt van Jezus houdt van alles en iedereen. Jezus is wit en Jezus is gestorven voor iedereen. Dat is niet waar. Leugens. Oh, dat is niet waar. Dat zijn nee, leugens. Dus daar gelooft je ook niet in bij. Wat? Hij gelooft je ook niet wat er Jawel, want er staat erin. Maar kijk, dat zegt Maar nee, maar gelezen. Nee, 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 dat is niet waar wat jij zegt. Luister, lees jij de Bijbel? Waar, wat, die, John, John okay. 316. Ze komt okay. daar met John 316. Of ze, kom, of ze komt met John... John hoofdstuk 1 vers 11. Nee, maar we je weet moet, het omdat wij niet weten, want jij begrijpt het niet. Maar, maar leg, maar ja, leg, ja, daarom staan we hier. Leg het woord, leg daarom het woord. Het geloof is eigenlijk dat je dat zelf begrijpt. Dat is, nee, nee, is niet waar, dat is niet waar. Dat is niet waar wat jij zegt. We gaan versen lezen en dan mag jij, mag jij uitleggen over het iedereen. Ik heb het uitgelegd, maar eerst moet je ook kunnen luisteren. Ja, luisteren, luisteren, luisteren naar jou. Maar hij zegt tegen mij, hij weet wat ik moet zeggen. Jawel, want John 316, dat heb ik gepakt toch? Dus ze weten. Kijk, je moet begrijpen. Ja. Luister. Kijk, weet je wat ik, wat ik niet zeggen kan? De Bijbel is een Bijbel, snap je? Ja. Je kunt niet zeggen, deze, deze part kan ik niet geloven. Nee, maar dat doen wij niet, dat doen wij niet, want we gaan uit. Nee, maar jij snapt het niet. Je moet het wel begrijpen. Dus dat is... Nee, maar luister, waarom weet ik dan welke versie gaat pakken? Je denkt het te begrijpen. Je moet... Je geloof iets. 
Nee, nee, zeg helemaal niet waar. Want daar kom je allemaal mee die claimen te weten dat God van iedereen houdt. En dat is niet waar. Want jullie begrijpen die stress er niet. En dat kennen die persen. Ik wil één laatste vraag stellen. Wij praten nu over het Wij niet. Nee, jij. Jij praat over het Christen of wij niet. Nee, nee, maar je klets. Laten we eerst naar Sekke Nusra's. Want hij zei, hij zei het vroeg iets. En dat zou meteen ook haar antwoord zijn. Jij zei iets van God houdt niet voor iedereen. Ja, toch? We gaan naar Sekke Nusra's. Maar ik heb één vraag. Jij zegt tegen mij dat God niet iedereen van iedereen houdt. Nee, we gaan naar Sekke Nusra's. Nee, 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 ik heb een andere vraag. Nee, oké, maar... Ik heb een andere vraag. Ja, maar luister dan. Wacht even. Ik wil eerst haar antwoorden. Dan, als jij een vraag stelt, dan kunnen we steeds verder gaan. Want zij noemde eerst. Laten we het antwoorden en daarna gaan we naar jou. Dan krijg jij ook meteen antwoord. Oké, lees het. Luister goed. Ja, maar we gaan het uitleggen. Luister goed. Je, respecteert, je houdt van de Bijbel, je respecteert de Bijbel, toch? Ik respecteer de Bijbel, maar ik ben zelf niet zo goed. Oké, okay, maar we gaan deze... Nee, nu gaan we haar eerst laten. Oké, ik krijg meteen antwoord. Oké, laat haar, laat haar, laat haar. Oh, je bent boos, hè? Nee, laat haar, laat haar. Oké, we gaan het antwoorden. Dit is onrespectvol, hè? Nou, we gaan het uitleggen. Nee, luister goed. Oh, maar luister, wil ze niet meer horen, toch? Ik ga luisteren, dat is geen probleem. Ik ga luisteren, dat is geen probleem. Je vraagt toch een antwoord, je wilt toch iets weten? Hoe weet jij? Ik wil niet meer horen, dat is geen probleem. Nee, antwoord op mijn vraag. Oké, laat haar, laat haar. 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 Oké, okay, luister goed hè. Oké, okay, de boek is... Nee, maar je moet dat niet voorlezen. Ik ga het lezen, jongen. Ik ga het lezen, maar je praat door me heen. Ik ga het lezen. Ik ga het voor je lezen. Je moet niet door me heen praten. Want jullie vrouwen van tegenwoordig willen denken, denken dat jullie gelijk zijn aan mannen. Maar de, de islam verbiedt het. De islam verbiedt het. Christendom verbiedt het ook. Je, een vrouw staat niet boven een man. Je zijn, nee, jullie zijn niet gelijk. Wij geven een antwoord, maar je moet luisteren. Ja, luister dan ook. Het is niet moeilijk. Luister dan ook gewoon. Ja. Maar antwoord op mijn vraag. Je gaat het antwoorden met de Bijbel. Ik heb niet eens geluisterd naar mijn vraag. Zij vroeg iets en we willen dat aan. Luister dan. Oké, okay, laat me één ding zeggen en dan ga ik luisteren naar jou. Luister dan wat ik zeg. Zij stelde een vraag. Wij zouden het lezen voor haar. Op het moment dat we het willen lezen, rent zij weg. Okay, en het is een... Ja, maar het, is ook, het heeft ook meteen antwoord op jou. Want jij vroeg ook en je zei ook van God houdt toch niet houdt God van iedereen. Dat was haar vraag. Nee, hij zegt tegen mij, God vraag... houdt niet van iedereen. Houdt houd God van iedereen? Ja, tuurlijk. Oké, okay, nou dan gaan we het ook lezen voor jou. Goed, lees. 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 Ja, lees. The book of 2 Ezra, chapter 6, verse 56. Je volgt Engels, goed? Oké, okay. luister goed. As for the other people... Waar begin je? 6, 5. Oké. As for the other people, which also come of Adam, thou hast said, that they are nothing. We all come out of Adam, right? Yeah. yeah. So, all, so all people come out of Adam. Go on. That, now I said that they are nothing, but be like unto spittle, and as like in the abundance of them, unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. Okay. 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 Whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, yeah. of him come we all. So we all come of Adam, go on. And the people also whom thou hast chosen. And also who the Lord has chosen. Who has the most high chosen? These people are chosen, the children of Israel. You can shake yeah. your head, Everybody but they are chosen. Is chosen. Who is one? Everybody is chosen. Okay, read it again. Read it again. Read it again. Read it again. Read it, just read it again and let her listen and then, then answer. And read it again. And the people also who thou hast chosen. Why are they not Read it again. 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 And after these, had them also whom thou made us Lord of all thy creatures. Yeah. Of him come we all. We all come of Adam. Go on. And the people also whom thou hast chosen. And the people also whom thou hast chosen. In the Bible. So we all come from Adam, but there is one specific group of people chosen by the Most High. And those are the descendants of Jacob, Jacob. And you can accept it or not. I will never accept it. But then you don't accept what is written in the Bible. Then you go up against the Most High. Yeah, yeah. You see what you leak. You bent a leugenaar. You don't. Nee, jij wordt ik heb het gelezen hier. Het staat op camera. Je bent een leugenaar. Het staat, ja, je bent een leugenaar. Hoe noem je iemand die liegt? Hoe noem je iemand die liegt? Who knew me even? Let's let's ask him. Who knew me even? Let's ask this brother. Who knew me even? He is more reasonable. How do you call? How do you call a person that lies? She's. How do you call a person that lies? Who that lies? 
Huh? She, doesn't, she doesn't, she doesn't she accept. How do you call How a person you call that lies? Nederlands, that lies. Oh, hoe noem je een persoon die liegt? Leugt. Die liegt. Hoe noem je een persoon die liegt? Of die niet die. Of hoe? Nou, het is heel simpel. Hij zegt nu. Dat bepaal jij. Maar jij bepaalt niet hoe wij boodschappen over moeten brengen. Dat bepaal jij niet. Maar die autoriteit. Nee, maar dan is het ook niet. We staan hier ook niet om, om te luisteren naar jou. Nee, maar jij, we vragen jou ook niet. We vragen onze mensen. Het is niet voor jou. Ja, hey bro. Bro. Honest answer. Hoe noem je een persoon die liegt? Hoe noemen ze dat in Nederlands? Wat betekent lief? Liegen, lying, lying, leugen. Je verstaat Nederlands? Ja, een beetje. Oh, een beetje. Welke taal spreek je? Nee, Arabisch. Ah, oh, ik ken het geen Dag leugenaar. Look. Dag leugenaar, stop hem hier. They, they can't stand the truth. Let's go on, man. Because that's the case. And that's, how, that's the people we're dealing with, man. You know, in the book of Isaiah chapter 8 verse 20. They don't speak according to the word of the Most High. Exactly, man. How can you respect the Bible but not believe the words that are coming out of the Bible? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, hey, so I, I, because I started at the wrong first, you had it good, man. Yeah, I was already so looking like that. Hey, what's going on? But don't worry. You know, because this thing, the people have been indoctrinated by some, some doctrine of this world to think that God is all love, that God loves everybody, that you can just do whatever you want, and that you will be safe no matter what. But pretty soon people are going to find out how the most I feel is these things. Exactly. And how horribly people will be judged exactly. for disobeying the most highest commandments, man. Exactly, man. And you know, we're standing here for our people. If, you know, by coincidence or by faith, these leaders also, uh, you know, they stand still, yeah. look at us, and we might exchange some words. But, but we're not here for the leaders, man. We're here yeah. for our own people. So that's it. Yeah, man, that's it. And they should keep their, keep their mouth shut, man. Exactly. Especially these women, these women. man. They we have no authority. They, they don't dare. They do not dare to go against their men, but they want to go against us, man. And that's it. The hell, the hell they're, out of, they're out of order. They're exactly. completely out of order. So let's, let's grab a couple of scriptures concerning that. The other brother that was listening, he had, he had a good spirit. And he also has a, a, a quiet connection over here. Like the one with the glass I was yeah. talking with. Yeah. That's a connection. Yeah. So that's good. The book of Isaiah chapter 8 verse 20. Yes. To the law and to the testimony. If they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. Yeah, there's no light in them, man. The moment when you ask, the one ask a question, and they are in Islam anyway. The other was the other was an Israelite and the other was an Ishmaelite. And you know, it, it had an appearance of an Ishmaelite. There's a chance that it could be an Ishmaelite. There's there's always a chance. But we want to answer you based on what is written in the script. But as soon as the script is coming out, you feel emotional. You want to you want to talk through through the word that is coming out. You want to speak against the word out of the Bible. Everybody is chosen. That's not true. that's not true. And when you correct them, no, you still you're getting emotional. That's why the Lord said it is not ordained or permitted for a woman to talk in the church. They cause confusion, man. Exactly, man. Because they're too emotional, man. Too emotional. No understanding. The Lord said they're deprived of wisdom, man. Exactly, man. And even even the Islam acknowledges the Israelites yep. upon whom the favor is bestowed. Yep, yep. Hey, another thing, the same thing like the brother said, man. Even in Islam, there's an order. Those females don't back talk when their man is talking. But when they hear, they see Christianity, they all of a sudden think they can run their mouth and start talking. But the establishment out of the Bible came, which you know, the, the thing that is in the Quran, let me say it right, came from the Bible, exactly. you know? They had it from us. Exactly. That order that is established, man. Exactly, man, because what order does a beast have? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I, I got another first, the, the, yeah. the book of, or the yeah. epistle of 1 John chapter 2, verse 4. He that saith, I know him, and keep another his commandments, is a liar, and the truth is not in him, or in this case, in her. Because I told her a lie, I, I called her a liar. Yeah. And she said, you're, you're cursing me, you're cursing on me. No, that's not cursing. I'm telling you what you is, Actual, she's a dead liar. Factual, factual. Exactly, exactly. Factual, factual. And, and then, she and was then lying. They may not like it because in her mind she thinks that there's nothing wrong with speaking. The Bible says, let's get it in the book of uh, Sirach 4. I believe it is in uh, uh, Sirach 4 and I believe verse 26. The true part of the Bible is coming out that you want to speak against it, man. 
That is not a lie thing. <laughs> this is crazy. And she called me a liar for reading what, what the Bible what the says. Bible says. <laughs> but that shows you that's, that's an emotional, deprived creature. Man, but hey, this is animal crackers, man. She, she cracked me up, man. That, that animal. That bitch. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. The book of Ecclesiasticus, chap uh, chapter 4, aka Sirach chapter 4, verse 26. Be not ashamed to confess thy sins. 25. Salah, in no wise speak against the truth, but be abashed of the error of thine ignorance. In her case, she's speaking against the truth. We're reading out of the Bible. There's one chosen people. Brothers, can I ask you something? Can I ask you something? Couple of minutes, couple of minutes. Yeah, come, bro. Couple of minutes, come, couple of minutes. Come, 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 quick, come, quick, come, quick, come, quick, come, quick, come, quick, 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 come. quick, 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 I believe like it's a black one. Why? Right, the, that, that is the first thing that you said. It's a white, but I believe like it's a black one. Okay. Boom! That's a good thing. That's a good thing. I want to ask you another thing. Do you keep the laws of the most high? That's right. All of them. 613. Uh, I try. That's cool. That's cool. You don't eat food. You don't eat white flesh, right? Yeah, I Shrimp? Crab. You're not a Muslim, right? Me? I'm a Muslim. Are you a Muslim? Oh, yes. What? But how are you going to say? How are you going to get saved? For you believe in Jesus? Yeah, I believe in Jesus. Or oh, is he coming back? Yeah, I, 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 that's what the Quran told us on the book, so I'm sure we are just doing that with each other. But the Quran says that he, is, that he didn't die. Yeah, that's what the Quran said. But you believe that he died? I believe like he's going to come back with that when I read it. But do you know? Do you know that if you don't believe in him, how it is recorded, how it is written, get it? The book of uh, 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 was it John seven and thirty eight? If you don't read and believe according to what is written in the Bible in him, that you will not have his spirit and the wisdom inside of you. I understand. So if you, if you, yeah, but if you don't, if you don't do according to what he tells you, then you will not be safe. So you don't want to be safe. That's what I'm saying. That's why I'm trying to go. I'm, I don't go against or you know, I'm going to what he said not to do. Do you study? Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. But being a Muslim goes against because Yahweh Shai, aka Jesus, he didn't came. He wasn't. He wasn't a Muslim, and he didn't stand for. Come on, come on. The Muslim culture. You understand? Come on. That? You know, one thing is uh, we're talking I, about the Bible. I'm sure, like we all just believe in what we. Like, we got people that believe in Hinduism, yeah, Buddhism, but they're gonna get destroyed. They're not gonna make it. They yeah, will be sure. destroyed. No, I, I can, I can say that. The Bible says it. Yeah, the Bible says it. I gotta finish. I gotta finish. The, we book gotta finish. Of, the book of John. We'll give you flyers while we study. We wanna get. We no wanna problem. get them study. The book of John, chapter seven, you know verse thirty-eight. Yeah. We no, study group. Study group. Uh, yeah, I understand, but I don't know. Maybe when I'm coming back, it's like. Ah, uh, they always say that, and then hey, they man. go, and then they don't come back. No, 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 that's your word, your own word you give it to me. Maybe you're going to be the first and then you go and then we come back. We're going to see if you come back. Let's be close to the one first. The book of John chapter 7 verse 38. He that believeth on me, as the scripture hath said, mm -hmm. out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. So if you believe according to what is written in the Bible, you will be filled with the word and with the spirit and the knowledge of the Most High. So look, we pray everything goes well. Like, so I believe. No matter how it is, but you, I'm constantly here. I, 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 I. That's ego, man. You I don't want to hear ego. Yeah, are you I, doing his? No, no, no. But I, I, listen, but that's I, ego. You, uh, you, do you know where the word ego comes from? It comes from the Greek and from the Latin. It means I. Uh, so, so I hear you. I, I, I. That's ego. Gotcha. So if I use I, it's for me. Yeah. So that's ego. You're thinking about yourself, but it's about the Lord. I got you. I'm right. Of course I'm right. Hey, but we go see if you come back. It's your word, eh? Ben je gelovig? Ben je gelovig? Je spreekt Dutch? Je wat en wat moet je geloven? Spreek je Nederlands? Waarin moet je geloven? Nou, ik vraag, ben je gelovig? Je kan in alles geloven. Waar geloof je in? Het is dat ik zeg. Waarin moet je geloven? Nou, niet waarin wij. Je moet geloven. Wij geloven in God en wij geloven in de verlossers en zo. Daar geloven wij in. Is dat God? 
Dit is de zoon van God. Dit is ja. een omschrijving. Een omschrijving van de zoon van God. En wie is dat? Schokken, maar ze een donkere man. Ze donkere weet een schokken, maar ze een donkere man. En wie is dat de zoon van God? Wat zeg je? Hoe noemt hij? Jawa Hassi? Jahawe Shai. Jahawe Shai. Nooit komt, van God. Hoe komt het in een zwart van steen? Omdat hij terugkomt om een bloedbad te uh, oorzaak hier op aarde. Ja, de, staat, de, staat, de staat waar deze wereld in verkeerd is, is, een, een, is, een, is terminaal kun je het stellen. En daarmee komt het de mensen door te. Ja. Dus het, er is een grote schoonmaak nodig hier op aarde. En dat komt hij door. Een heleboel mensen moeten opgeruimd worden die het eens zijn met de indoctrinatie die nu plaatsvindt. Het fysieke, het polluten en het conformeren tot, tot, het, tot, het, uh, tot de rotsen die je vandaag de dag op aarde ziet. Ja, precies, en je kan je voorstellen dat als, uh, als in de maatschappij... Uh, maar waarom zeg je, Jesus is een negro? Waarom weet je dat? Het staat in de Bijbel. Je kan je ook voorstellen, we gaan het lezen. Revelation. Je kan je ook voorstellen dat, uh, dat in een maatschappij zoals dit, waarin ze uh, pedofilie proberen te normaliseren of seks met dieren, dan kan je, uh, ja, dat moet er iets gebeuren, toch? De moraal gaat omlaag, toch? Het is geen moraal meer, toch? Je moet de moraal verbeteren, mannen. Je moet werken met jezelf. Hè. Beginnen bij jezelf. Want ja, jullie begint, prediken geweld. Het begint bij degene die Jullie heen, prediken niet geweld aan bloot. Wij, wij zijn, zeggen niet dood mensen of dit. Wij doen het niet. Kijk, dat doe ik. Het begint, het begint bij jezelf. Maar het begint bij het begrijpen van wat er aan de hand is. Wie heerst er? Wie veroorzaakt dit? Er zijn mensen die heersen en die dit aanstuwen. Er is een systeem die wordt geregeerd door een groep mensen. Nou, welke, wat maakt het uit welke kleur dat Jezus heeft? Wit, zwart, geel, groen. De waarheid. Wat, wat voor kleur heb jij? Wat voor, kleur, wat voor kleur is jouw huis? Als jij bloed, welke kleur doe je Daar gaat het niet. Dat is helemaal anders. Dat is helemaal anders. Ik ga een voorbeeld geven. Ik ga een voorbeeld geven. Ja? Ja? Ik geef een voorbeeld. Ja? Ik geef een voorbeeld. Ja? Jij, jij doet een goede daad. Ja. Jij redt iemand. Ja. En ze willen, jou, uh, ze willen jou belonen. Ze zeggen, hey, je ja. bent een hele goede foto. Ja. Nu komt in de krant. Ja. En ze maken een foto van jou. Vervolgens zie je jouw plaatje, maar je wordt afgebeeld als een Chinees. En ze veranderen jouw naam. Dat is een leugen. Dat is een leugen. Geloof je dat? Geloof je dat? Dat is toch een leugen, man? Dat ben je een leugen. Ik ben een leugenaar. Als ze een beeld van je maken, maar het is niet jouw gezicht, maar een gezicht van een aap of van een Chinees, dan zeg je maar niet. Wat is dit? Dit ben ik niet. Hey, maar maar laat, laat, laat hey, dan... Die mens heeft toch gelijk? Die heeft toch gelijk? Nee, natuurlijk niet. Is, het, punt, het punt is, het punt is, het is, het punt is, het is niet de waarheid. Het is niet dat? de waarheid. Wie zegt dat? Ja, maar ja, okay, man, laten we het lezen. We gaan het lezen. De Bijbel zegt dat. Luister, luister heel goed. Maar voor mij maakt dat niet uit omdat hij groen, geel, paas. Dat ben jij. Als jullie nu zeggen dat je de waarheid in pacht hebt. Jij hecht geen waarde aan de waarheid. Dat is wat je Maar hebben jullie de waarheid in pacht? De waarheid in pacht, de waarheid staat in de Bijbel. Dus de almachtige vader heeft de waarheid in pacht. En wij, wij beamen okay, de Bijbel. Oké, laten we eens beginnen over die Bijbel. Wie heeft die Bijbel geschreven? De Almachtige Vader heeft geïnspireerd. Is alles nee, is geïnspireerd nee, 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 alles is geïnspireerd door de Almachtige Vader. Ja, je we kunnen het lezen. Je we kunnen het lezen. Je hoeft het er niet mee eens te zijn. online, maar wie heeft dat online gezet? Dit komt allemaal van de Creator. Nee, nee, dat lees het niet. Lees het, lees het. Maar We gaan eerst naar 2 Timothy 3 en 16. Hey, maar mannen, wat dat niet goed is, is dat je dat geweld, uh, geweld toestaat. Hè? Dat je zegt, God gaat terugkomen om allemaal dood te doen. Dat is zeven. 2 Timothy 3 en 16, luister heel goed. We gaan het lezen wat er over uh, hoe die wordt afgebeeld in de Bijbel. We gaan eerst... Voor mij maakt het niet uit omdat die nee, maar heel pas is, maar ik vind het gewoon heerlijk. Ik, heb het, al, ik ja. heb het al gehoord wat je zegt, maar we gaan nu naar de Bijbel en we gaan uitleggen wat er staat. The book of 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 16 All scripture is given by inspiration of God All scriptures is everything that is contained in the Bible yeah. This Bible was not written when somebody just came like I'm just write something, I'm gonna create the Bible by myself I'm gonna write this That's not how it went All the prophets were ordained by the Spirit of the Heavenly Father to do and to write accordingly That's what happened When you go into the word prophecy, when you break it down, it means pro and foresee. Pro is before and foresee to say. So we're speaking about things before they will come to pass that are written in the Bible. Foresee hey, is the cinema. Nog een keer? Prophecy, that's geen pro vaker, hè? That is vaker dan doen in Latijn, hè? Waar heb je het nou over? Om je zegt pro. Prophecy, prophecy, when you break it down, it, it exists out of two words. Prophecy. It, it, it's, it comes from pro, which means before, and foresee is to say. To say, no. Foresee, foresee, we know pro. Come on, man. Prophecy, prophecy means to say before. We mention, dude. What, what is a prophecy? A prophecy is you mentioning things that will happen before they take place. That is prophecy. 
the yeah. person that is prophesying. But you just, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, go go ahead, go ahead, man. <laughs> so all scripture is given by inspiration of God yeah. and is profitable for yeah. doctrine. It's profitable for doctrine. For reproof. For reproof. For, for correction. For correction. For instruction. For instruction. In righteousness. In righteousness. So, jullie moeten van corrigeerd worden. Dus het is inspireerd door het woord van God. Ja, door, de, door, de, door de geest van God. God. Heeft de, God heeft de, okay. Hij heeft de geest aan, aan, op de prophet Want hij gezet. heeft het geschreven, hè? Hij heeft het geschreven, hè? Luister daar. Maar ja, dat is steeds geen vraag. Wie heeft het dan geschreven? Een heilige persoon. Ja. Die wie, begeleid wie, is. Die wie, 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 wie? Het zijn meerdere profeten. Nee, Isaiah. 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 Nee, ik zie de kut de Messias. Ja, maar hey. Dat was mode. Alle joden hebben mode om Messias te zijn. Dus nu we get to the, the, the description of the one who they call Jesus Christ. Dit is hoe hij is beschreven in de Bijbel. Dat is geen Jezus. Dat is Yahweh. 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 His name is Yahweh Shai, but the people on this earth have whitewashed him and turned his name into Jesus. This is how he is being propagated on this earth, but it's a lie. It's not in line with what's written in the Bible. We deal with the Bible. I have never heard about Yahweh Shai. No, because the world has taught this. They are not in the Bible, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai. Because you have said that you are the king of Satan. And he is also the king. And he has said that he is the king of Satan. But how do you do that? Wat staat erop? Ik heb die duizend keer gelezen. Ja, ik heb alle boeken gelezen. Ja, ik ben moslim. Luister, we gaan niet... Even gezegd, jullie zijn vrij. Even respect. Mohammed was bezeten van Satan. Hij 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 was bezeten van Satan. Mohammed was bezeten van Satan. Hij heeft dat zelf gezegd. En hij was bezeten van Satan. Hij zat, in, juist, hij zat in die grot, Satan is bij hem gekomen en toen heeft hij die ding geschreven. En toen, hé, hé, niet van ons. Hé, nee, van jouw Hashi. Ja, hou was jij. Ja, hou was jij. Maar je, je zegt toch niet zelf dat de dat, dat Jezus deelde? Ja, hou was jij. Maar wat heb je gevraagd? Je hebt nooit verwoord, ja, van jouw Hashi. Je zegt, jullie, jullie bewesten niet of... Nee, nee, kijk, wij, wij, wij eren dit niet. De reden waarom wij hier horensop hebben gedaan, we hebben hier horensop gedaan, omdat dit, deze man is de duivel, dit is een echt persoon. Maar Jezus is Big Ben, Big Ben is duivel. En duivel is een woord. Heb je de filosofie begrepen? In begin, begin van begin. Wat is een woord? De duivel is van God. En hij is de duivel, de kruis is niet waar. Ja, dat is het. Hij is stralen van de naam. Het is niet waar, jongen. Maar luister naar eens wat ik jou uit ga leggen. Want jij denkt dat je het weet, maar je weet niks. Maar je weet niks. Je hebt alles bestudeerd. Nee, je weet niks. Jesus is de Big Bang. Luister. Hij is de Big Bang. Hij is de duivel. Hij is de duivel. Ja, hij heeft dat zelf gezegd. Ja, dat heeft hij niet gezegd. Heeft hij gezegd dat de wereld aan is? Hoe sterk is de duivel als hij in, in, in hemzelf weer deelt? Luister. Hij heeft dat over zich gezegd. Luister. Ik ben in mijzelf weer deelt. Als weer deelt de splitsing van atoom. Je bent gek. Je bent gek. Atoom splitsing. Hij heeft atoom splitsing. Hou je nou, bek nou eens man. Nu heb je geen zin meer om netjes tegen te praten. Want je gedraagt je als een fucking varken hier ook. Nee, 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 nee. Je bent te jong. Bek. Te jong te ja, je praten. moet je bek houden. Want jij staat hier niet om les te geven. Te jong. Loop dan door man. Hoeveel boeken heb je gelezen? Ik heb alle boeken vanaf en toch weet je niks. En toch weet je niks. En toch weet je niks, want ik zie jou geen dingen delen lezen. Maar toch zie ik jou dit echt niet doen. De symbolen begrijpen? Shut up. Oké, ik ben hier voor jullie. Hey broeders. Ja man bro, ik riep je. Ik riep je toch? Geloof je in God? Weet jij de... Waar kom je vandaan? Welk land kom je van? Ghana. Ghana. Oké, weet je dat je Israëliet bent? Israëliet. Nee, 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 ik heb. Huh? Ik heb? Ja, Christian. Ja, nee, dat weet ik. Dat is je geloof, zeg maar. Maar weet jij dat jij van bij het volk van Israël hoort? Weet je dat? Heb je dat gehoord? Hebben ze dat gezegd in de kerk? Nee. Zie je zo, we denken, kijken, dat is de antwoord. Nee, wij weten dat, want wij zijn daarop getraind en deze man loopt gewoon ons in. Kom eens dichterbij. Kom dichterbij. Je gaat naar de kerk dus, hè? Oké, okay. hier zie je dat jij je aan de verboden moet houden. Ja, dus jij eet ook geen varkensvlees. Je ontstekt, hè? Wat heb je nu? 
Hij wil, hij wil. Maar je weet dat je geen, vle- geen varkensvlees moet eten, weet je dat? Schelp en schaaldieren, krap, onder andere krap en kreeg. Maar die ook niet eten. Ik krijg wel even wat ik zeg. Ja, ik krijg niet het idee dat je het begrijpt. Ik vind het heel easy voor jou. Dus ik denk dat je het moet zeggen. Dan zal ik het niet zeggen. Maybe it's better. So, the thing is, when you're going to the church, they need to break down to you. They need to tell you that this is how the Son of God looks like according to the Bible, not this. This is why we put horns on it, a snake tongue, and the devil chain. Because this was an actual man. This was Cesare Borgia. Cesare Borgia. Of Pope Benedict XVI. Yeah, they put up that image because the white man then came in power. And that's what they call the Renaissance. The Renaissance is a Renaissance, Renaissance is a French word that means rebirth. So it was the rebirth of the, 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 the empire of the so called white man. Where he is in the people, with your part of the Ghana, he said, he said, he said, he said, he The thing of being an Israelite is, is that you have to follow the law statutes and commandments of the Most High in order to get saved by this man. If you don't practice the commandments, if you don't keep them, he's going to cut you down. Because soon he's going to return. Just the people on this planet, you understand? We give Bible study. So we're inviting you to come to study with us because the thing. We're saying, out of the Bible, you won't hear them in your church. Because I'm going to ask you another question. Where are the Israelites? Israelites. You mean to read the Bible? Yeah, I mean to read the Bible. You watch, you worship, you worship on Saturday, but you're Christian. Okay, but you already explained to like, you go to the church, Have they told you about the Israelites? Who, who are the Israelites? Who are the Israelites? The Israelites? Yeah. The Israelites was uh, the people that, uh, let's say, uh, what gave them the beginning? What gave them the commandment? Is that on the What is it? What is it? Yeah. So, like, I can see here the fundamental. Who are the Israelites today? Uh, do they live? Do you think they are still alive or do you think they're dead? Who are the Israelites? Sometimes people normally need to say, yeah, the Israelites are the Israelites. For me, my perspective is not Sometimes I think this is from Africa. The African. What? Partly. In West Africa, where from? Okay. Okay. I'm going to tell you a story about what happened with the Israelites. The Israelites were persecuted by the Romans, those are white people. So they came after us and they, they, they chased us actually out of the Holy Land, Israel. So we fled mostly to the best part of Africa. So a lot of our people are in the best part of Africa. Compare your spirit with somebody from Somalia or something, you will see you have, there's a different spirit. Those are Hamites. They have a different nature. When I say a different nature, they do other things. I used to, I used to deal with, I had a, a friend. I was a good friend with him, working with him, chilling and all that things. But I went to his house one day, and I ring this bell, and I, the door opened up and I smelled shit. I was like, what is this? He said, oh yeah, we use shit to, to clean ourselves from dark forces and negative energy. I was like, what? That's, that's not what we do. We don't do that. We 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 got this is vero frankincense. You know we burn incense for for certain energy to to remove the weight. But he said they took shit and then they did the shit over themselves over the whole body to 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 repel dark energy. I was like, dude, no man, it's dirty man. But that's their spirit. The same thing. What they do is when a cow is pissing, they get their head under the cow pissing and they do that. They wash themselves with the piss, with the cow piss. They believe that it's cleansing, cleaning them.
but that's not our custom. Man, you listen to it, you be like, no, man, no, no, that's not, that's not me. That's you. You do that. Yeah, man, you know. Exactly. So it shows you that there's a different spirit inside of us. Just because a person has a dark, melanated skin, doesn't mean that they all are the same as us. But what has the one on this earth done? The so-called, the so-called white man said, if there's black, well, they're all African. They're all the same. That's the same way you look at a Japanese and a, and, a, and a Chinese person. When you call a Chinese person Japanese or a Japanese person Chinese, they're going to get angry. They say, I'm not Japanese. I'm not Chinese, I'm Japanese. So, my bad, my bad. But they don't like it because they, they're not the same. And that's the same thing with us. When, when we, who are the chosen people of the world, when somebody will say, like you, 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 Somalian or something, they say you're Somalian. They're like, no man, I'm not a Somalian. What are you talking about, man? I'm not Somalian. What are you talking about? You see, so we gotta understand who we truly are. You gotta know your identity. You gotta know where you're from in order to understand where you're going. You gotta know your roots, your past, where they truly took place. Because they don't wanna tell us the truth. They're not gonna tell you you're an Israelite. They will say, God loves everybody. You and I and he, we're all equal. We're all the same. That's what the, that's what they will say. That's what they will say. And then they, they even turn him in his history. They turn the redeemer, who is described in the Bible as this. They turn him in his history. They call him. They say he's white. They say Jesus. You gotta love and accept them. And and Jesus looks like them. Black, exactly. Solomon, get that in the book of Solomon, Wisdom of Solomon 1 and 5. Listen what, what's the, listen, listen what Solomon said. Solomon was the wisest king. King Solomon, right, you know? Listen what it says. This is something that we always say. Our people always say this. It's convenient. Wisdom of Solomon chapter 1, and I believe it is in verse 5. The book of Wisdom of Solomon chapter 1, chapter 1 verse 5. For the Holy Spirit of discipline will flee the sea. the book of uh, Sirach 33 verse 11 the, the color of the the, the color of the, the soil is brown we we have the original skin color the ones that have melanin we are the original people of this earth those that don't have melanin are not even human because the word human you means color man colored man so if you have no color you're not a human so there's sub sub you know sub they they're mutants man they're mutants <laughs> She looks like, damn, damn, I'm a mutant, I'm a mutant. I thought I was a human. No, you're not a human. We are humans. We got color, we got you, we got melanin. If you ain't got melanin, you are not a human. You are a mutant. You are a sub-creature, you know? And that's the reality. We are here to speak the truth. Some are saying like, yeah, you, you're racist. You ain't no man. We're telling you the truth. Exactly, but we're not racist. What we do, what we do, we are nationalists. Nationalists, we love our people. Yeah, man, you gotta love yourself. We love ourselves, we love you. They don't love us, they show you that they don't love us, man. All I want to say is that they really care about us. Others, hey, yeah, man. <laughs> Uncle Michael. Michael, Michael, Michael spoke about Uncle it. Uncle Michael. Yeah. He said it, he said it many a times. And many a times in America, you see they don't love us, man. You got a man, a brother, running away from the police. The man has no gun. Man gets shot from the back, 50 bullets. That's hate. How much hate must one have? For a person to shoot from the back while he's running away, no trap. Yeah, man, and Tupac said they don't give a fuck about us. That's the song. They don't give a fuck about us. Man. That's it. Anyways, the book so of Sirach. We, we should care about us instead of thinking, like, no, but we want to be safe, everybody. Because that's the mind that our people have. It's called Stockholm Syndrome. 
Men 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 een peus is niet slecht. Mevrouw, mevrouw, man, kom, 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 kom. You see? Hey, but this is a serious thing. You standing here, the Lord, the Lord sees this and and He is pleased with you. But when we call them, like come, come, to hear the bird, and they be like, nah, nah, nah. When when all hell comes, when all judgment comes, you go hear them say, oh Jesus, come please, Jesus, 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 Jesus. Jesus, let's, you go hear it. And what do you think that the Lord is going to say? Uh-uh, uh-uh. Don't call upon me. When I sent my servants and they wanted you, they called you, you said, no, no. That's, the Lord is going to do the same thing to them. The Lord is going, the Lord is going to put it in their mind the moment when we were still, still here and talking with you. And when he called and I come, come. And he was like, the Lord is going to put it in the mind. And then they're going to think like, oh, shit. I said no, and now the Lord they go help me, but that's the uh, you gotta understand how the Lord is going. The Lord is the, the Lord does not play around. When they say the Lord loves, he loves the righteous, he loves when you do the right thing, he loves when you listen, he loves when you're trying to learn. He loves when you change and you get that you do the right thing. That is what he loves. But if you're wicked, if you steal, you murder, you you do things like the sort of my homosexual things, the Lord doesn't love that. Black Jesus.
That's the Bible says it. This is how they are. The Lord says they're stiff necked, they're stubborn. But if you want to be like that, the book of Proverbs, chapter 1, again, 20. We keep doing this, man. And the Lord, the prophets were sent. The same thing as before. When were the prophets sent? Right before the destruction. Most I said, go and tell those people, if they don't get by it, I'm going to destroy everything. The prophet goes. And what we do, we blow in the trumpet. We're warning him. We're telling them, the mark of the beast is coming. The microchip is coming. Have they taught you about this? This is coming. Don't take it. It's going to be very difficult upon this earth. I can tell you now, like, don't take it. And you might say, like, no, I'm not going to take it. But when everybody is starving, when the stores are closing, we're going to have martial law troops kicking indoors, grabbing women by their hair, pulling them. Like, like, like the yeah, they. That's... Go, go, go. Quick, quick, couple of minutes, man. Couple of minutes. They don't want. Yeah, go in. We're going, we're going to cover this all, we're going to cover this a little bit as well. And we're going to speak about how he's coming back, because I'm always, always going to know if they explain to you how the Redeemer is coming back. Hey, Listen right without it. streets. What we are teaching right now, as we need to do in the streets, not in the building. What is it, Acts 7 and 48? Not in the building. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> we, you're not supposed to be in the building, warm inside, sitting there. Oh Lord Jesus, oh Jesus, that's not, that's not how, that, nowhere in the Bible you see the prophets doing that. The prophets went outside telling the people, hey, you got to repent, the kingdom of heaven is at hand, calling our people. The, 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 the Israelites were not sent to the Gentiles, not to the Edomites, to the Moabites, to the Chinese, not to them. They were sent to their people, continually. Read it. The book of Acts. Chapter 7, verse 14, yeah. I'll be the most high dweller, not in temples made with hands. Not in temples made, made by hands. Let's say the prophet. A church building. The Lord is not there. They they think that the Lord is there. Oh, thank Jesus. They got them videos. They're sitting there. Well, let the Lord, the, the, the hand of the Lord, they hit, they hit the hand. That they go shake. And you see the whole fakeness. I'm like, yo, yo, stop the egg, man. What, what are you doing? And, they, and people get paid. I, I had one. I saw one fit. This one is the same. He saw the woman and the man. The pastor said he was he was he was blowing or he was throwing he was throwing uh, uh, the holy water, so the holy water, on the woman's private part. And then he said, "Oh, that's a sex demon. Oh, get the sex demon out. Oh, the sex demon." That's a <laughs> and he saw the woman crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, and then he then he threw the whole, then he threw the so-called holy water on her face, on her mouth, and then she opened, her, <laughs> she opened the mouth. He says, "Oh, that's that's the oral demon. That's the oral demon." He saw it. Ah, ah. And like, dude, this is insane. Exactly, man, that's insane. Because that's stupid, man. Because oral. Yes, yes. General okay. Call. Thank you for your time. General thank call. You. Hey, we go. You got a flyer? What's that? You got the flyer already? The flyer. Flyer. Did you have fire? We're going to give you fire. And we invite you for studies, bro. We're going to teach you yeah, things. Because you're in a, you're in a bugged out church. You're, in, you're going to the church. I want to ask you one last thing. Before you go, we're going to, ask, we're going to give you an answer about this as well. Take this. The number is on it. It's plus, 30, plus 32 because we're from Holland. Plus 32 and then the number. Plus 31. Oh, plus 31. So, sorry. So, I want to ask you one thing. How is the Lord coming back? How is he coming back? How is how is the how is Yahushai? Because his name is Yahushai. Don't use the name Jesus. Because every time you say he will Jesus, come, he'll come back on his head. That's true, but but how the, how will he come back? Bible, the Bible explains how he's coming. Uh, how? Are you going to contact? We're going to get into the script. You got some, you got some shit. This man, this man, this man, this man, fresh, the man, fresh. But how? Have they told, have they explained them to you when you go to the church? Have they said, according to the Bible, the one they call Jesus Christ, his name is Shaoshai. Don't choose the name Jesus because Jesus, when you break down the meaning, Jesus is Jesus. 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 Jes
when you say you Zeus, you're praising Zeus. You know Zeus the yeah, God, right? So the, his name is, is Yahweh Shai, which means he that redeems, he that delivers, he is our deliverer. But the question is, how is he coming back? What, how, in which way? Do you know? We can read it. Book of Acts 10, the one verse 11, which also said, Ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? So this was the moment when the Lord was actually taken off to the way you go, the same way you come. Yes. But the Bible explains how he was taken off. That is the important thing. He's going to read it. This same Yahweh Shai, which is taken up from you to heaven, and also from you like manner as you have seen him go up to heaven. In verse 9, in verse 9, it actually gives you the important one. And when he had spoken these things, yeah. while they beheld, yeah. he was taken up, and a cloud received him out of the sight. A cloud came, and it's not a little cloud. What do you think that cloud was? Uh, not difficult. It came. And it, and it beamed him up. What do you think it was? I think it could be like in a city of the wind. Huh? The wind. A what? Wind. wind. A what? Rain? Rain. A rain? What is that? Uh, like if the wind is blowing, then there's a cloud. Oh, wind. wind. Yeah. No, 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 no. It was, it was, it was, it's a vehicle. It came, it beamed him up, and it left. What is that? A vehicle that flies in the sky that beams you up and then it leaves. What is that? The mother-in-law. Huh? <laughs> My mother-in-law. No, no. Get the hell out of here, man. He doesn't want to be funny. But <laughs> that's a devil. What do you think it is? It's here. What do you see on it? What do you see? Oh, the cherry tree. Oh, the cherry the chariots. The chariots are the flying vehicles of the Lord. In this world, they call it spaceship, UFO. They say UFO aliens, right? No such thing as aliens. The angels are inside of those flying ships. So the Bible explains the same way like how that, 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 that ship came and beamed the Lord up. The Bible states the same way like how it was taken up. It's the same way how it's coming back. Revelation 27. That's a very noticeable and understandable thing. You gotta know this so that you don't get tricked. And they are going to teach you this in the church, brother. They are going to teach you this because they don't know this. They say, you have hope. No, no. They say, no. They really believe, they really think that a, a real cloud, a real, a, you know Dragon Ball? Yeah, you had the cloud called Nimbus. They, they most think they had, it's really, it's the Nimbus coming to see. Yeah, they just Nimbus. No. The Bible uses comparison, similarities. In uh, Zechariah, he says a flying scroll. Ezekiel says a wheel in a wheel. What is a wheel? A wheel is flying. When you have a UFO, you see around the wheel, you see the lights around it, right? And then when it flies, you see it goes. Wheel in the wheel, that's a UFO. So the Bible explains the spaceships. We are in, back in the days, we had a song. Swing low, sweet chariot, coming forth to carry me home. Swing low, sweet chariot, coming forth to carry me home. That's our song. Our people sang that in a time wow, what when is they were slaves. Okay, hey, neem contact hè. Okay. Hou je eraan. Okay. Haal je uit, haal je uit die leugens van die witte mensen naar die kerk. Jezus was zwart. Wat is hij? Jezus was Oké, boom. <laughs> Jij zegt dat? Oké, okay. oké. Okay. Dan ga ik je nog iets vragen. Je gaat niet naar de kerk of dan ook, hè? Niet per se. Ik ga nu wel naar mijn moeder. Ga naar de kerk. Wat voor nummer? Ik ga er wandelen. Ik ga er wandelen. Ik ga er wandelen. Ik ga Ik ben alle witte man. Witte man. Hij is niet geloofd, maar hij is niet geloofd.
Oké. Okay. Hij heeft minder zin in de kijkers en ik ga je vertellen, ja? Ja. Pak uh, pak uh, X7 vers 48 nog een keer. Er worden bepaalde leugens verkondigd. Dat Jezus De internet dat hij wit is. En ze leren mensen ook dat hij is gestorven voor alles en iedereen. Ja. Maar dat is niet waar. Hij is gestorven voor, voor ons. Maar als ik zeg voor ons, hij is gestorven voor een groep mensen hier op aarde. Uit de vorm. Israëls. De kinderen van Israël. Jullie kennen, jullie kennen het verhaal van uh, Moses. De kinderen van Israël uit Egypte heeft bereid. Ja, ja. Hij heeft een specifieke groep gered. Hij heeft niet iedereen, niet iedereen is gered. Hij heeft gezegd, laat mijn mensen gaan, toch? Ja. De mensen van de Almachtige Vader zijn de kinderen van Israël. Diezelfde mensen zijn nu weer in slavernij. In de laatste positie, helemaal onderaan, toch? Ghetto. Wat voor muziek wordt er gemaakt? Heel muziek. Wie betreft het ons dan? Ons toch? Want je hoort, je hoort geen. Je hoort geen honky van. I'm a kill them. Kill them. Nee. Je hoort geen Chinees van. Nee, je hoort black on black, black on black, black on black. Dus je moet weten van. Hey, dit wordt aangestuurd. Er is, er is een macht bovenaan. De muziekindustrie wordt gecontroleerd. Ja. Er wordt aangestuurd van dit moet gemaakt worden. En je mag geen andere richting op gaan. Nee. Als je een andere richting op moet gaan, dan word je niet bekend. Dan ga je doen, maar op jezelf mee blijven je eraan. Maak je dat soort games, de kill muziek. En dan man, go up, go up, go up. En de rituelen die ze moeten doen. Dus dat laat je zien van de vloeken. De Bijbel spreekt over vloeken. Wat ik zeg, ja? Oh ja, had je gelezen? Had je gelezen? Oh, oké, okay. laat wij zijn deze is feest. Er zijn vloeken op ons die kunnen laten zien dat wij de kinderen van Israël zijn. En uh, pak eerst die van die 27 dagen met die vloeken. En in de kerken gaan ze jou niet zeggen wat die vloeken zijn. Dan ga je jou niet uitleggen dat jij een van de kinderen van Israël bent. Dat is het belangrijkste wat je moet weten. Jij moet weten dat je uitgevoerd bent. Als iemand jou gaat zeggen van je bent gelijk aan de rest, terwijl je uitgevoerd bent. Dat is wat we hier doen. Wij staan hier om jou de waarheid te geven. En wie is de
There's a, there's a beautiful parable because our people are lost, man. They lost everything. And now the great gathering is actually taking place. And the scripture says, many are called, but few are chosen. You know, as we call people, many have, the, many have no time. The Bible also speaks about that. Many will come with excuses, man. Right? 